new video on my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create, automatically create a QR code based on v uh, data in a SharePoint list uh, with the help of Power Automate. I've used a template list uh, to attract the data from, and the flow will be triggered when a new record is created inside of this, this list. Uh, what you regularly could use, for example, is a serial number uh, to create the QR code on. Uh, in this example, we're going to do it based on a, a line of text. So the first step that we're going to take is we're going to go to Power Automate and we're going to create a automated automated cloud flow. And we're going to continue it. QR code example. And as a trigger, we want to have our SharePoint list and we're going to say when an item is created and we're going to create the flow. First trigger, we need to add the site address. This will be automatically filled in in the dropdown. Uh, for this, I'm going to edit from the URL. If it will appear in the site address dropdown section, you can just go to the SharePoint site and copy the URL um, from the site that you're having the list on. And from within the URL, it will automatically filter out the available lists. And here we're going to go with the asset manager QR example. So when an item is created in our list, it will automatically trigger the flow. And the next step that we're going to add is HTTP. And we're going to go with the general HTTP function. And within this function, we're going to have a get request through an API that will create our QR codes. There are different QR code generator APIs that are available. I'm going to go with this one. This one is free to use. I will attach the link for this API in the, in the description uh, so that you can use it as well. So what we're going to need from this API in our HTTP request is the URL to get to do the uh, get request. And what you can see here is that example is the value that will be given to the QR code. And in our scenario, this will be dynamic data based on the records in our SharePoint list. So we're gonna, uh, we, do, we don't wanna take this one within our API URL, but only everything before it. And then we're gonna go back to our Power Automate flow, and we're going to put in the URI. And after this, we're gonna add our dynamic data. And in our scenario, this will be the serial number. Um, you can just use any data that you like here, dynamic data. Uh, just This is the exact value that will be given to the QR code when you scan it. So if you, for example, want to use an URL, that if you scan the QR code, it will automatically go to the URL. You will need to add a dynamic or a solid URL here, and then it will automatically go there. In our scenario, it would just return the value of the serial. And then we're going to add the method, which will be the get request. And then this will be done. For our flow is that we want to use the QR code that we've created through the API and add it inside of our list as an attachment. So we're going to add one action, which will be add attachment. There we go. And here we're going to fill in the site address again. This is the site address. And our list is still asset manager QR example. And the ID we can extract through when an item is created so that it knows which uh, record we're talking about. The file name is something you can choose yourself. You can make it dynamic, make it static. It's uh, whatever you like. For this example, we're just going to use the dynamic name of the serial number, .png, because this is the, the, this is the regular file type that will be um, requested through the API. There are also other uh, options available, but this is something you can look into for yourself. And the file content is just the output from our HTTP request. And we're going to add this and hit save at our flow. It's time to start testing. So to test the flow, we have to trigger it. And this is by adding a new item in our SharePoint list. Let's quickly check if it's, I have enabled the flow. Yeah, it's always good to turn it on before testing. All right, so let's add a new item. Uh, this is just some test data. Um, the thing that's the most important here is the serial number because this is what's going to add the value to the QR code. Uh, for now, I'm going to add hello YouTube. So this will be the value that will be given when you scan the QR code that will be automatically generated. And we're going to hit save. 
And this is the moment that we just pray that it works. Let's take a look. Let's see in our flow if it already ran. Power Automate flow have be, has been triggered and has run successfully. So let's now, now let's take a look at our new record and see if any attachment were added. And here you can see the attachment with the name Hello YouTube. And when we open it, we have our QR code. And if you from home scan this, it should say Hello YouTube. I save the QR code uh, as a file and uploaded it in a free QR code scanner online. And as you can see, it says the text, hello YouTube. So if you need to automatically generate QR codes for anything, assets or anything like that, uh, this will be a helpful way to do it through the uh, Power Platform. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and uh, I hope to see you in the next video.